Good morning, Lido fans. Welcome back to Brickton. It's been quite a long time since I've done an update of my Lido City, and for that I apologize. Uh, I've been quite busy doing some other things uh, with my life. Uh, I know that sounds a little harsh, but uh, I just haven't had time to really come back here and spend some quality time with my Lidos, and uh, for that I apologize. Because, you know, Lido really is a good way to de-stress and just, you know, take, take time out of the daily hassles of life and have some fun with some things that are awesome, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to be doing a full update on what's changed in the city, what's what's uh, different. You may have already uh, seen a few things that have changed, shifted around, and have been uh, Frenchified. Um, but yeah, the big things, most of all, uh, the Knights of the Cosmos are trying to induct a new member into their ranks. Hopefully it goes out well with him. The medieval blacksmith is now in the Legoland as sort of a Renaissance Fair-esque demonstration thing. And the Winter Train Station, which has been dewinterized, is now a uh, caddy corner to the train tracks. So that's, uh, that's basically the main changes of the, uh, of the city. Uh, a few of the other surprises I will share later on. Uh, but the big thing that I want to share with you in this video is uh, my really, 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 really long train. See, it keeps going. There we go. Uh, this is actually two passenger trains put together, Lego passenger trains. Uh, the set number will be up on the screen. Oh, actually, it's right there. Of course, stickers are always your friend in Lego. They always point to the number of the set. So when in doubt, go there. So this is 60197, or rather two of those. So yeah, this is kind of like a gift of the Magi thing. Uh, for Christmas, my parents bought me uh, a whole set, which is this and three cars, uh, and I bought me one set, and neither side really knew that the other had done so, and here I am now with a really long futuristic train with uh, my awesome city, so I think it's kind of fitting, you know? So yeah, there's uh, a uh, two Lambs cars in the front here, and two... Uh, sort of refreshment cars in the back or, or the front whichever way you want but yeah so one thing i wanted to point out is the fact that both of these have engines in the front or rather in these cars here and both can actually run on the same controller so i haven't really seen any tutorials on how to do that and um i thought i'd share with you now uh so yeah i'm going to be doing a quick jump cut here because it will be a lot easier for me to record all right so yeah i'll be right back all right, the reason why there's a little bit of a trick to this is the fact that you have to link both of these cars to the same controller. And to do that, you really need to have like either two arms or three arms or whatever. So uh, I'm going to be doing this on camera. Here we go. So after you hit uh, the first buttons for a good solid three seconds, you see I have a little flashing white light there. They should all pair up to green. Okay, so that one cab did not, so I will just link him up again. There we go, now he's green. So there we go, uh, really uh, just a simple trick to do in that. And uh, let's see this thing go around the track a few times. And there you have it. If you'd like to see some more random later content, please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.